Hi guys. Oh jeez. So I'm wearing my favorite ripped jeans. These are my wide bottom flares from American Eagle. My second all time favorite pair of jeans. Look, I am in my car. I want to share a little story. So um, today is a rare day that I have um, zero physical clients in my chair at the salon. So I'm using it as a work day, marketing, cleaning, orders are coming in, all of that stuff. I need to go to beauty supply, which is where I am right now. Um, so I live almost an hour away from beauty supply. So I try to just make my trips count and it's often more difficult to get up here than I think it's going to be. So long story short, I was like, oh good. Cause I'm like 3000 miles over on my oil. And so it's up the same area kind of. So I got my oil changed and <laughs> I can't find my car anywhere in a parking lot, let alone drive myself through unfamiliar territory. Even though I've come up here a hundred times over the years, I still don't know any other way except the one way I know how to drive to beauty supply. So, um, I got my oil changed and I was like, oh, so if I go all the way back over there and then get onto the highway, okay, that takes so long. So I took left instead of right. And I thought, okay, so this is just the back way. Don't get nervous. I saw a sign for Route 86, which is the highway, which is, you know, I was like, I just need to get back there. That'll be great. So I'm like driving along. I'm like, oh, it's such a scenic area. I love it. And then I start seeing things that I'm like, oh, okay, I know where I am. That's the airport's coming up. Okay, that's good. So I'm like, I know my way to, to the highway from here. Well, I took a freaking loop that took me the scenic route back around to where I had just been on the highway. It literally <laughs> took me 10 minutes to drive all the way around to get back to where I just was instead of going the direction that I needed to be going to get to Cosmoprof. Oh my gosh. So I was, CJ called, you know, right as I was getting to the highway, I was like, I am so proud of myself, a little nervous, a little um, excited, you know, cause I get anxiety when it comes to like not knowing where I'm going. And so I was like, I'm not gonna use GPS. I'm just gonna follow my intuition. And I'm like, I'm so proud of myself. I got back to the highway. And then I was like, oh, I actually got farther away from where I was trying to go. Like literally it took me to the exit. I got off the exit before my original exit to even get my oil changed. I literally, oh my God, it was so funny. I was a little embarrassed, but I was like, well, you know, I, uh, I did it. I figured out where that whole thing was and I don't need to go that way again. But if ever I'm there, I'll know how to get back to the airport, I guess. I don't even know. So a little embarrassing. But um, so that's my morning. <laughs> like, okay, Lindsay, you can do this. You can travel across the country. And this is the funny thing. When I was 19, I moved to Texas. We packed up this old pickup truck that got like eight miles to the gallon. I spent my entire life savings of $140 on gas to get there because I thought I was so well prepared for that move. Um, and I navigated our way from Pennsylvania to Texas, no problem. Like highway systems don't, don't confuse me, I get it, but I cannot find my way out of a wet paper bag in a parking lot. Like it is so embarrassing. So now I've just shared that with, well, maybe two people that will watch this. So, um, that's my little life story and I'm trying to work on challenging myself to try things that make me uncomfortable, AKA anything in this life, um, that I haven't done before. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. So I'm coming into Cosmoprof to catch up on color gloves. I need the little ear covers for clients glasses. Um, what else? I don't even know like it just it's really like I do need to restock my most used colors my Paul Mitchell the color XG colors um, I actually am like blending other ones to create what I need for my target color so I like doing that too that challenges me and um, I like using up what I've got and gloves I actually stopped at Walmart and got the uh, disposable nitrile gloves in the cleaning section because I just couldn't get 
all the way up here. So tired of using those ones. That was that was something new. Um, yeah, so just I have to get some things and um, I am looking for a couple of different options of like extension care products to try and just see how everything measures up to what I'm already using. Um, yeah, so if you guys have favorite products that you have been using for your extensions and you're having good luck or if you have things that you've been using that have not worked just comment below let me know like where it's at um so that's uh that's what I'm doing right now um as for my hair I did not shampoo yet again like I don't even know I slept in a twist last night and after smoothing it you know, a couple of days this week with my Amika straightening brush 2.0. It just has been so easy, so perfect. And now there's just the slightest bit of texture. Um, just a touch of dry shampoo. And again, just kind of digging like more of that kind of 70s vibe. Um, I'm, I'm really enjoying my hair. So uh, natural beaded rose extensions. Like I said, when I don't have them in, it takes me so much more work to get my hair done and to make it look like I've done anything to it at all. And it rarely does. So even if I do do it. Um, yeah, so if you guys want to know more about natural beaded rose extensions, click the link in my bio for your free consultation. Um, that takes you right to my application form. Oh, my hands look really big. Um, but if you just want to know a little bit more, you can dig around on my website, um, strandsaloncorning.com. I've got tabs for natural beaded rose extensions, some before and after photos, and like how I chose to specialize in NBR, um, as well as there's a tab called Beauty by Lindsay, which takes you to my blog and my YouTube channel. So that'll give you more information, um, different articles, different, um, videos, before and afters, just there's a lot more stuff on there than just hair too. I talk about exercise some, I don't exercise much. I talk about food, um, lots of skincare, lots of makeup, lots of other stuff like that. So, um, dig around and, and then when you're ready, just click the link in my bio and we will get you ready for your consultation. So if you need anything, let me know if you have any suggestions for, uh, tutorials or anything else that you want to know more about, just comment below and, great. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day and I will catch up with you tomorrow as always. Thanks guys. Bye. Oh, see, I am garbage at this. I can't even get this. Okay.